With more than three dozen horse deaths in 2019 at the San Diego Racetrack, this year's Breeders' Cup brought the most dispute. However, this multi-million dollar race attracted fans all around the world to watch and bet on their favorite horses. 1982, a group of thoroughbred breeders from Central Kentucky, led by John Gaines, created a plan. Their idea was to create a year-end championship for their sport, an event where nominated horses from across the world could meet to settle who was the best of horse racing. The Breeders' Cup World Championship put on a national platform and helped it to build a market for racing and breeding. From its first year in 1984 to 2006, it was a one-day event. From 2007 to now, it has expanded to two days. Fashion has always been part of the fun at Breeders' Cup. Women think stylish and dress with stunning hats, while men consider suits with a bow tie. Championship Saturday is one of the richest days in racing, awarding over $22 million in money and awards over nine races. In this year's Breeders' Cup, Vino Rosso won the $6 million classic at the Breeders' Cup, upsetting the favorite McKenzie. The race overshadowed by a fatal injury to longshot Mongolian groom on the left hind leg Saturday night. This tragic death of Mongolian groom after watching these beautiful animals sprint reminded us why this year's Breeders' Cup was the most controversial. This blood sport needs to end. There are too many horses that are being killed. These animals are commodified, meaning that they are seen as running piggy banks. Well, these are living, breathing, sentient, social creatures, and they deserve to have protection just like our cats and our dogs. With all the worries surrounding the horses, fans are still able to enjoy a fun day in horse racing. Questions still remain about using horses as a sport. But for now, this has an Aaron. Back to you guys in the studio.